Rich with Totally Electric Guitars. Today we're just talking about a simple quick little lesson on some easy jazz arpeggios. Um, the uh, key to jazz really is arpeggios, you know, because unlike rock maybe or funk or something, um, jazz has a lot of chord changes, you know, so it's not like you're just staying on one chord and vamping on E minor. You know, it's not like that. You play, uh, you play through changes and um, if you're unfamiliar of, uh, uh, with jazz changes, I suggest maybe you take a look at some of the other lessons I've done. Like, um, if you've never heard of a 2-5-1, that's a really important one. You need to check out 2 5 ones because those are all over jazz and basically what I just played. Um, and then once you have like a good basis for how the chords interact with each other, you know, why um, does D minor precede G7 and G7 precede C major 7, you know, that sort of thing. If you can understand that, um, then taking it to the next level, learning arpeggios, um, is a really, really good way of becoming then fluent with that sort of material. So you heard me just now play through some chords. Um, I'll show you what I was doing. I'll show you that a bit later. But basically, um, I was playing purely simply chord notes. I wasn't playing any outside notes at all, you know. So um, over, say, example, uh, a D minor 7 chord, I was playing... exactly those four notes in D minor 7. Um, and then with G7, C major 7, and all the other chords as well. And uh, what this lesson is kind of geared to do, basically, is just get you comfortable with, um, instead of maybe shredding in just one key, E minor or A minor or F sharp minor or something, you know, um, to learn how to think in chord tones and how they relate to each other and how they can relate to melody. So I'm going to show you some cool, simple ways of getting through arpeggios. Uh, all within uh, a couple keys that'll then, um, I guess, hopefully translate to your everyday playing so that uh, when you're playing through a real book tune or, you know, like a simplistic tune um, but with some chord changes, that you can kind of outline those chords and create uh, maybe a, a more musical solo. 